There's a lot I wish I knew before playing Omega Strikers, whether it's settings, macro, or that I'm probably gonna go on like five game losing streaks every other day. But with that being said, I learned a lot. I've watched a lot of pro gameplay and tried to apply it to my own games. And here are a lot of the things that I've done different and that I've been working to improve. And hopefully you guys can take something away yourself. If you're just epic at the game though, and none of this is helpful, none of this applies to you, maybe leave something in the comments to help other people out, you know? Spread the wealth. So the first thing is, is what controls should you use while playing? You can do control controller, MOBA, and you can do WASD. Obviously, at the end of the day, it's a game and you want to play whichever way is the most fun for you. But if you're that sweaty gamer type that wants to optimize before getting into the game, it seems the consensus is WASD. I've tried that and I've tried the MOBA controls and I tend to lean towards WASD more even though I'm a MOBA player at heart. The main difference is you find yourself being a little more precise with kiting the core and I find myself making less misplays in the direction that I'm hitting it. So next up, someone came into my chat and they said silver and gold are where people start getting the hang of their characters, but their macro plays suffer. So I looked into a lot of the macro that people above my rank have been doing, and most of it is positioning. So positioning is probably the hardest thing you can learn because the game is so fast and your positioning is so crucial. Figuring out when the time is that you need to go back and help your keeper or that you need to stay up and look for a gold opportunity is gonna be a bit of a learning curve. I'd say the easiest way to improve your positioning is assessing what in the game needs to improve and then looking at your positioning from there. Say you're getting knocked off the map a lot. Are you standing too close to the edge? Are you not respecting their Juliet with her little dash combo? Is your team not scoring that much? Maybe you're sticking back with the keeper too long. Maybe you're not pushing with your other teammate on offense. Are you getting scored on a ton? Is your keeper constantly having to 1v2? Does someone need to go back there and rough them up a bit? These are questions I've been trying to ask myself and then you apply it to your positioning. And if you can watch a replay, that would be the best way to kind of go back and assess what you need to improve. And then just one quick tip off of that is stacking on top of the core or just mindlessly chasing it isn't going to be the move. I think you get rewarded for it in normals or in lower elo sometimes, but just know you're gonna open yourself up to a lot more opportunities, whether it's hitting people off, collecting some of the orbs on the map, or even giving yourself more opportunities to score if you spread out a little bit. Sometimes you gotta put a little trust in your teammates. This next one might be obvious to most people, but a lot of players in my games aren't getting the memo. If you're a keeper, it's advantageous not to just ping pong with whoever shot and you want to cross the puck. It diffuses the situation faster and it leaves it up to more than just who can hit the most strikes back and forth consecutively. So another tip is when you're staggered and you're really prone to getting knocked off the map, it's probably not beneficial just to hide. You gotta stay in the game, you gotta keep helping your team, because if you're just hiding until that stagger bar regenerates, then you might as well have been knocked off the map. All right, so a lot of people get frustrated where they're ping ponging back and forth and they're like, I can't get it past this guy, what do I do? Well, that's where you use your kit. That's where you use your abilities. Most of the characters, if not all of them, have an ability that's going to be able to get it past someone else who's just simply striking. A lot of abilities that excel at this are the multi-strike abilities, whether it's Kai's multi-shot or Juno's slime throw. And you can use these to either clear the ball effectively or beat a keeper. And then the last, and I personally think the hardest but most important tip that I can give is keep your eyes up the field. And if you guys aren't familiar with the soccer term, it pretty much means don't funnel in on just your character. Try to pay attention on what else is going on. Is there an Estelle looking to line up a shot? Did X just alt and he's barreling towards your teammate trying to knock him off the ledge? Or is your Dubu coming out of the goal for no good reason? The game is fast paced, so these things are kind of hard to keep track of, and I find myself really tunneling on what I'm doing most of the time, 
but keeping your eyes up and trying to assess what the next best play is going to be based off what other people are doing is the move. But that's all I have for you so far. I fell victim to a lot of these macro errors and still do a lot of the time while playing. So hopefully you got something out of it and maybe you guys can share something you tell a newer player in the comments because let's face it, we're all getting better at this game. It's a new game and sharing this information could be super helpful and valuable. But thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Thank you.